back in the day, I was a windshield repairman and I kept my repair kit. And last night I had occasion to go to a friend's house and uh, fix his windshield for him, several windshields. And as we, yeah, I finished up, we we're having a beer and just hanging out and sitting in his shop, looking out at the beautiful mountains and just chatting. And he, he brought up a point. Uh, he says, what was that thing you were telling me about the other day? I can't remember the word. And I said, was it voluntarism? And he said, no, I don't think so, but I'll look into that. And then a little bit later, I mentioned anarchy. And he says, yeah, that's the word, anarchy. And he says, that that's the what you're into or whatever. And I, I said, yeah. And, and then he asked a question that I've heard many times over. That's a very fair question or it's a, a, to be expected uh, from people who are not familiar with the concepts of a stateless society, or anarchy, the, the philosophy. He said, well, with as complex of a society as we have or as, as complicated as the world is with all the problems, would it work? And he didn't ask it in a, in a challenging, mean way. I don't. I don't think he's a conservative. It, it was just in a very, you know, friendly, nice, curious way. And and so, I, I thought, you know, that deserves a better answer than than my flippant, normal answer, which is very good and thorough, but not everybody appreciates it. Which is, um, I don't care, because that that's the truth. When you're making moral decisions, you're not looking at the actual physical consequences of that action. If you have chosen to be a like a stoic and just say, hey, I'm going to do what's right, regardless of what the results are going to be, that's a choice. And I choose to make that in many cases. I try to. Um, and that's that's my thing. And so, no, I don't care uh, what the results are going to be. I don't think it's okay for some people to rule over other people. And so, therefore, uh, I'm an anarchist, a voluntarist. And so, boy, am I ever. I only came to like three miles an hour to go through that stop sign. Look at me go. Um, how? So first question that we should look at is work, the definition of the word work. Will it work? Well, that depends on what working means to each individual person. Uh, do we mean will it work better for the certain people? Will it work better for certain people than uh, things currently are under the current situation? What do we mean by work? Uh, I don't think that humanity would evaporate, like everyone wouldn't die within a few days or a few years if there were no governments to, to rule people. Um, I, I don't know that, I don't think it would be utopia. I mean, there's this, on the flip side, there's this utopian dream that, well, if we have government, things will be much better and maybe not perfect, but real close. Well, I don't think that about anarchy. Uh, I think it'll be kind of like it is now, except probably a 10 or 20 percent reduction in theft, uh, in death, maybe way bigger reduction. Uh, at least I look at, uh, for, from what I hear of crime rates and such, uh, most things can be traced to either a few really bad people who like to go out and steal and kill and, and that kind of thing. But then most things can be traced back to government. For example, if there's a gang shooting, well, the gang might not exist, at least in its violent form, if it wasn't for illegal drugs or other things that governments have made illegal, that therefore there's a profit motive for gangs to be business people and go out and do nasty stuff. So I, I can't really blame that on uh, just a person being a bad egg. Now, somebody who goes out and just steals because they get a rush out of it and they kind of get a kick out of also, you know, one of my wife's friends in Pennsylvania, a uh, guy who's just walking home from the bar or whatever and got stabbed during a robbery, like killed. Uh, like, okay, whoever did that had gotten out of prison three days earlier, had been released. Um, well, obviously the system didn't fix that. So what would have been the result of that incident was their anarchy. Well, the guy wouldn't have been in a government prison. He might have still been locked up in some sort of a, a place and he might have been released. So I don't know that there would be a huge change. Um, it's just the right thing to do. And that, that's kind of what it comes down to is if the right thing to do is not to rule over other people and boss them around and then take their money away from them uh, a portion of it against their will because you think that as a central planner, you know more than they do and you should make all the decisions or, or many of the decisions. 
and people are just too stupid to take care of themselves, which is why you, the government, has to exist. That's why you have to be there to uh, run stuff, and there's a cost to running stuff, and therefore you have to take some from everybody. You wish they'd give it voluntarily, but they don't. And some people are just too stupid, which I agree, uh, to do a good job of managing their own lives. I think where we might disagree is maybe you think that it's okay to then steal from everybody and then force everybody to do what you want because some people are really stupid. And my thinking, on the other hand, is if some people are really stupid, okay, um, go be stupid. <laughs> uh, go for it. Uh, you're you're going to have a lousier life. I'm not going to support you. Um you know, I might try to help you get back on your feet, but then as soon as I find out that you're stupid and lazy and not going to do something with your life, then yes, I'm going to quit giving handouts. Unlike the government, they'll do it for a full life. Um, they'll, they'll give handouts that they've taken from other people who haven't voluntarily said, hey, please take a third of my paycheck, um, a third of the profits of the, the fruits of my labor, and give it to people who are chronically losers chronically not going to fix themselves and be better in life. Um, yeah, I, I don't, I don't like that system. So maybe we have different values. Maybe your values have more to do with, um, caring about people and saying, well, no matter how lazy, dumb, mean, uh, a person is, they deserve to have a fancy house or at least a really nice house, nice transportation, nice electronics, whatever it is, air conditioning, heat, whatever it is that that we think are uh, are important today. Uh, maybe you think that that is a quote unquote basic human right. I I disagree. I, I don't think rights exist. Uh, you know, in that way of thinking about them. So yeah, that that's kind of my longer answer to uh, how would it work? Would it work? I I don't know how, and and I don't know that it would work. I think it would. Um, I've, I've really looked into it a lot and, and gone deep on it, and I, I think it would, but I certainly have no guarantees. And, and of course, I'm not going to make any suggestions on how I think it would work, because as soon as I do that, then I would expect that there would be holes in this idea that I have of, well, I don't know, if, if the existing system didn't work, uh, and it's not working because it's so complex, there's so many moving pieces, then it's a little bit ridiculous to think that I could just wonder and make up that, well, this is how a person would do this thing or that thing. No, I don't know. That's kind of up to all the human critters out there to decide how they're going to get along with each other, what they're going to do. And I trust humanity to do that. I think many of them will mess it up just like they inherently do. But overall, I do think it would be better for most folks, not for government employees, but for most folks, uh, if there was no government. So that's kind of my longer answer. Thanks for caring. Thanks for listening.